Hi everyone, today we are here to talk to you about Ben's Best Playgrounds. We are going to share with you our top eight parks and natural spaces for fun for everyone. Hello everyone, welcome to the Suzanne and Sarah YouTube channel. I'm Suzanne Mark and I'm Sarah Willis. We are Central Oregon's investment and real estate experts. Hi everyone, I'm Sarah Willis and I'm a licensed realtor here in beautiful sunny central Oregon. Uh, Suzanne Moore and I are a team at Realty One Group Discovery and we put together these videos every single week on Ben Lifestyle videos as well as investor topics for new and seasoned investors alike. So if you are a local or if you're someone who's just visiting town or looking at this from out of town and you're interested in learning about Central Oregon amenities, um, or investing or buying real estate here in Central Oregon, we are the people to go to. So we've got a QR code here up on the screen. This is something you're going to want to take note of and screenshot it or hold your phone up right now. This is a great way to stay in touch with us and also stay on top of all the things happening here in Central Oregon. We put together a beautifully curated list of Ben's best deals every single week. And when you join our mailing list, you get that delivered straight to your inbox. So as we discussed, we're talking about Ben's best playgrounds and outdoor areas here today. Our most charming city offers a plethora of outdoor activities um, for families and children alike. And among its many attractions, Ben boasts an array of playgrounds that blend its natural beauty um, with exciting play structures. So at my last count, there were 68 designated parks within the city limits managed by Ben Parks and Recreation. And among these, there are so many different features. We've got uh, trail access, both paved and not, um, off-leash dog areas, play structures, BMX bikes, bike tracks, um, places for skateboarding, water features, climbing walls, sport fields, fishing, and more. Um, and whether you're a local resident or just a visitor to the area, these top playgrounds in Bend are sure to have something for everyone in your family to captivate those adventurous minds and create lasting memories for your time here. So let's embark on that journey and start with our number one on the list, which is Harmon Park in Playground in the uh, historic district of Bend on the west side. So this park is really neat because it's across from um, the river from Drake Park and it's right on the Deschutes River. I actually had my son playing soccer here last night for soccer practice and it was so cool just to be able to look out across the, the park and there are people on their paddle boards right next door. So um, the location of this park is amazing. Um, it provides a delightful blend of just old world charm and modern play equipment. Um, and it's also known as the boat park. As you can see here in this picture, there's um, been a long time fixture here at this park, this tugboat of sorts. Um, and it's just a fun place for kids to play on it um, and it's just affectionately known by the community as the boat park so in addition this park um, features towering pine trees for lots of shade during hot summer days kids can swing climb and slide on the colorful play structures while parents relax on the benches or enjoy a picnic on the grass um, there's also at this park what's called a hobby hut or the boathouse um, that function is just like an outdoor center or meeting place for outdoor programs hosted by Men Parks and Rec. Um, there's also two softball fields and part of those fields are used as a soccer field different times a year as we were there last night. Um, and what I love about this park is its proximity to downtown Bend just makes it a really nice place to unwind potentially after exploring the city. Number two is Holland's Head Park. So this park is a little bit off the beaten path. Uh, it's nestled in a northeast neighborhood um, in Bend. And it really doesn't, this one is the only one on our list that doesn't actually have a playground, but it does have a landscape that just makes uh, playing and exploring just as much fun. Um, it's a favorite of ours for all seasons, um, summer, spring, fall, winter, any time of year. Um, it has a landscape that has uh, an unfenced off-leash dog area. It's got a community garden, um, walking trails through the preserved natural areas. There's space for picnicking, um, lots of topography there. So lots of rocks and things for kids to explore and climb on. Um, and then much of the park is really just an open field and a place 
um, where the original orchard was at this park because it's an old farmstead. So also at this park, there are several uh, original historic outbuildings that have been renovated, like the Holland's Head Barn um, and what they call the Sharecropper's House, which is now a museum. Um, this makes it a popular location for weddings and other events. Um, but really, this is just pretty much our favorite place to take the kids uh, in the winter when we do get snow in town because it's got a really nice hill for sledding. Number three is Pine Nursery Park. This park is amazing. It is, it has everything. It's located far northeast side of Bend. Um, it's a complex of sport fields, natural areas. It has a fishing pond, fitness trails, a really great disc, disc golf course, um, and 14 acres of designated uh, off leash dog areas. So they've got like areas for small dogs and big dogs. So, you know, if, if your dogs don't play well with others necessarily, um, there's pickleball courts and volleyball courts, and there's a full turf soccer field. Um, and then also just lots of room for expansion there. Um, our kids, you know, prefer the playground here, but we also tend to plan on taking them there for a couple hours of time. And we bring uh, our fishing poles, our kite, frisbee, soccer ball, um, just to kind of do a, an array of activities out there. And we've also been known to launch a rocket out there as well. There's just enough space to do a little bit of everything out here. Number four is Larkspur Park. And this one's located off of Reed Market Road on the southeast side of Bend. Um, and it's adjacent to the Bend Senior Center and the Larkspur Community Center. So this is a unique park in that um, it really features and supports multi-generational play um, and also accessible play. Um, and it really is an atmosphere that has something for all ages. So here you'll find shaded shelters, benches, a bocce court, a pickleball court, a horseshoe court, a basketball court. Um, there's a meadow, paved walkways. Um, there's the Larkspur trails that connect to here. Picnic tables, a great place for birthday parties. Um, and then out, lots of separate outdoor structures that are just designated for different ages. So little kids have their own area, big kids have their area. Um, and also what's really unique and beautiful about this particular park is that roughly 40% of the site is kept as natural area to preserve, you know, the natural things there like juniper trees, alpine and rabbit brush. Um, and then there's a habitat there for quail and small mammals that you will see if you sit still long enough while you're there. So number five is Alpenglow Park. And this is one of the newest parks in Bend. Um, and it's in a rapidly growing and developed area in, in the part of Bend in deep southeast. So this is a 37 acre park um, with lots of open lawn area. Um, and again, this is a park that intentionally is abundant with natural areas. Only 8% of the park um, has lawn on it. So really here you get to enjoy views of the cascades, um, the landscapes, and the ponderosa pine and juniper trees. So we love this park in the summer in particular because of this splash pad, but there's also a really cool playground, um, an event pavilion. There's off-leash areas for dogs. There's going to be a demonstration garden installed here. Um, and this is also another park that is being um, developed for um, access for everybody, no matter who you are um, and what your abilities are. Um, also, this park is the first of its kind in Bend, um, a, a huge bouldering area that's just was professionally set um and they are legit if you know climbing this is a place where you might want to check out so there are three of these bouldering structures there that include natural routes set routes with handholds and then also even like i said accessible routes with rope assist climbing for adaptive climbers um, and anyone who needs a little bit of extra assistance all right number six is farewell bend park and this one is located along the deschutes river um, near the Bill Healy Memorial Bridge, if you know where that is. Um, this is a really great park um, to check out the park and then also go for a walk. Um, I love this, this park because the Deschutes River, River Trail runs along the length of it, um, and you have access from here to the Old Mill District, um, as well as the River Bend Park across the street. Um, and here the theme is uh, lumber mills. So you can see in this picture that uh, it's a lumber mill theme and there's a small kid-sized bouldering area here as well. Um, for us, 
the location of this park is key. It really just gives the kids a chance to play. Um, and then we use the boardwalk to stroll along the river um, as an alternative and a little bit lower key activity that everyone can enjoy afterwards. So this spot, just to keep in mind, is also a popular launch location for river floating. So you can always combine that as part of this, this trip. Um, and also a really great spot just to watch nature. Um, we have seen owls nesting in the cliffs and the rocks nearby. Um, and then there's just a really pretty, you know, natural marsh area there as well. Uh, one thing I will say is this is a popular area. So during peak times of day or peak times of year, parking here can be difficult. So if this is the case, I would try getting directions to Riverbend Park, which is across the street, which has more parking all around um, park there and then just do your walk across the street to check this park out. Number seven is Al Moody Park. And this one is located on Ben's west side and it offers another unique playground experience in a serene setting. So this park includes amenities like this treehouse play garden, uh, train engine for preschool age kids. It's got a half court basketball, um, picnic tables, shelter, paved pathways, and also has a soft surface fitness trail. Um, there's a turf play area, and there's even a place for sledding here in the winter. Um, also includes just your basic park amenities like dog station, bike racks, and benches. And this is another one where approximately 60% of the park is preserved just to keep the natural character of the area. Um, the shaded picnic areas here offer a nice relaxing spot for families to gather and enjoy the surroundings. Uh, there's even a butterfly garden planted along the primary trail here. And recently a nearby elementary school is working on an art discovery trail, which is really just designed to add another element um, to the park to stimulate creative thinking and movement. Um, this one is definitely a hidden gem and really that captures the essence of Ben's laid back nature and um, nature centric vibe. Number eight, last but not least, is Columbia Park. Um, and this is probably my kid's favorite park to go to, also affectionately known as the Pirate Ship Park, as you can see in this picture. So this one is located along the western edge of the Deschutes River, um, and it consists of two distinct levels. So the main level um, or upper shelf level has picnic tables, a large lawn, which we usually you know, kick the soccer ball around on. Um, it has a horseshoe pit, a playground featuring as you can see here, the SS Columbia, a ship-like structure. Um, it's even got like a little diving board that bounces. Um, and the lower shelf is connected by to the upper with an enclosed slide and a set of stairs. And down there, there's a trail that runs north and south along the eastern edge of the river, um, connecting to the wooden pedestrian bridge that crosses over the river. So here, benches allow visitors and parents to relax and enjoy the river view. Um, and then there's a chain link fence here that um, pro prohibits river access, but you will see some some of those hooligan kids still jumping in the river here um, as well. So that is the last one on our list for the day. Just to know Ben Parks and um, playgrounds are really just another prime example of how the city embraces and showcases its natural beauty and offers a wide array of recreational opportunities for families. The playgrounds mentioned here are just a taste of the incredible outdoor spaces that Ben has to offer. So from Harmone Park's historical charm um, to Farewell Ben's Riverside Adventures, each playground brings its own unique appeal and accessibility to children and their families. So whether you're a Ben local or a visitor in the area, be sure to explore these playgrounds to create lasting memories and experience the magic of Ben's Outdoor Wonders. Once again, my name is Sarah Willis. I'm a realtor here in beautiful Sunny Bend, Oregon. So if you are here to enjoy Ben's parks and playgrounds and you decide this is somewhere you'd love to be, we would love to help you find that home. Um, and we hope you think of us to help guide you through that process when the time is right for you. Um, Remember this QR code here up on the screen. It's the best way to get in touch with us and also keep a pulse on what Ben's best deals are um, in lots of different categories. Uh, and also before this video is over, I invite you to like and subscribe to our channel so you are on top of all the things going on in Bend at any given time and you have an easy way to get in touch with us. Thanks again for watching and we hope you learned something new today and get out there and enjoy the beautiful sunshine we have to offer.